So let's add a table to our admin section here. So this is the original HTML template and we want this advanced table right there. So what I want to do now is go to the same theme folder and I'll go to basic table and drag that file into my sublime text. So what I'm looking for is let me find its advanced table. I just copied the text from the uh, browser. And there we go, we have advanced table here. So this is the table. So let's just find the table tag, which is right there. That's the opening table tag. And where is the closing tag? Right there. But it's a good idea due to the nature of this thing. Uh, there's all, they've put all this, uh, these styles here to help with resizing and the like. And oh, by the way, I, I, don't, know, I don't think I mentioned that uh, this is a responsive design view if you go to web developer and go to responsive design mode, you will see that uh, everything is kind of responsive. So, which is uh, pretty good. They took care of that for us. Okay, so now in order to maintain that responsiveness, I just want to get the entire row. So I'll get the div from here, row MT, and look at where it's ending, which is right there. So I will copy the entire thing. Copy up to the end and copy. Goody. That's all we need for now. So I will close this basic HTML tag and let's go to our categories.php view, which is inside admins. And let's, this is where the page is. Now I don't want the content, sorry. I don't want to have to write again products here. Uh, this should be enough. So we're going to find a way to modify this so that we get the right text there. So let's remove this P here. We don't need it. And let's paste what we want. And that's the table. So let's come back here and refresh our page. And we have a nice table here, which is a good categories add. So we just want categories, view categories, which is uh, exactly here. So instead of advanced table, let's put something more meaningful. So let's come back here and search for advanced table. And right there, I want to change that to, I don't know, product uh, categories, something. Uh, let's use a capital C there product categories mm -hmm. there we go so maybe that's fine admin product categories uh, okay so here we have uh, very nice uh, tables here there's some things we don't need as if we go back to the the uh, the text editor where we put what we need it's just id and category so at this point we just need the category name and sometimes you may need an image for the category but uh, we'll see if that becomes an issue in future but for now we just need two items the id and the category itself so let's come back here and let's actually delete everything here except the first item so now the way tables work is there's a table head. So there's an opening table head tag, and then there's a closing one, and then there's a T body and the closing body tag right there. And then each one of these is a row. So it's table row TR opening closing. So that's one row right there. So if I delete this row, I delete one row there. So I need to just delete row all these rows except the first one. So I just want, need one row here. Okay, there we go. And that's because we're going to be looping things as we go here. And now let's look at what categories we need. So like company, we don't need that. So let's change that in the table head. So there's table head here, which says uh, company, uh, description and uh, profit and status. So. Let's come back here for a second. The status, and then there's a last thing here for actions. Hmm. 
So what I may do, uh, this is the one right there. Uh, let's look at these icons, if we can use any of these. So let's use this same one for status. I will copy the content and paste it here. And in here, I will just say action, you know, something you would do. Okay, so action. And then let's remove status. We don't need uh, status here. But uh, wait a minute. Let's see what uh, info is involved. Oh, it's due. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we may need status because sometimes we may need to activate or deactivate a, um, a category hmm? to disable or enable it. So let's do that real quick here in the categories. Let's add one more column and in the structure. Let's add a column here. So we will say disabled, disabled, and we'll use tiny int and one, one length. It will be zero and one, so that's good enough. See, and let's come back here and say uh, disabled. Add an index because we'll be using that to search. And let's add a default value. Now, there's a thing with uh, some databases that they want you to determine a default value or to either tell them to accept no values, like in U double L. So you can do that on, um, like for example, the disabled, uh, we want this to automatically be set to zero when somebody enters a new record. So that will help because then even if we don't provide a value, the database will have a value for it. So let's click change here for a second. An alternative is to accept no, but we want this to be readable. So let's put default as defined, let's put zero. So that will be the defined value as a default value there. So let's go to products as well. Let's do a similar thing to make sure that uh, we don't get the errors that I've been seeing in the comment section. So for example, we will not always have to put image two, three, and four, even though image one is compulsory. So everything else here is required except one, uh, the images two, three, and four. So let's click on those and click change here. Okay, so the things we want to change are the default values here. So, or in this case, we can actually accept no values. So let's just tick this no and hit save. Okay, so that's uh, a few errors taken care of right there. So let me come back here to our admin section and right here we will say enabled, something like this. So let's see how that uh, looks. Okay, so enabled status, good. And profit, we will change that to uh, price. That is the item price. And while we are still there, we can, let's put category here, category. So category, description, let's refresh the page. Category, description, price, status, action. So we will change these icons uh, later. I'm not very familiar with font or some icons, so I'll have to Google them. And when I come back, I'll have some good alternatives here. Okay, so everything uh, looks uh, good so far. Let's look at the dollar sign here. Where is that content? Where is the content here? T body. Okay, so that's the body there. Company, limited, Lauren, Ipsum, okay. Okay, so it's just uh, some basic text. Okay, good. So when we are populating the table, all we have to do is loop through this item. So the number of times we loop through here is the number of rows we are going to have on our table. So which is uh, well and good. But before we can do that, let's create a button where we can use to create a new category. So we may actually need to scrape this but uh, let's see how it goes if we use JavaScript or not. So here, there are some few buttons, but I want to add one button here for us to add a new category. 
So what I will do is copy what already exists. So I will copy what I, the button I like here is this one in the middle, which has a blue thingy. So let me copy that, the pencil. Okay. And let's go to the very top where it says product categories right there. Put a space and let's paste that dude there. And it's a button here with uh, just an icon, but we want to put some uh, text here and say add new. And instead of a pencil, I think let's use a plus sign there for adding. So let me refresh this. And there we go. We have that button here which says add new. So now we can add something new here. So let me do that to see that uh, even in mobile view, we are good to go. Okay, goody. So now what I want is when I click on add, I get a dialog box that will help me to add my category. Now, like I said, we could do this using pure PHP, where if we click on add, which will be the same as uh, redirecting us to the add page, and then we can replace by creating a new page, the same way we created this categories.php, uh, we can create uh, a new page there. But like uh, I said, we want to use some JavaScript here so that we we think we see things updating in real time. So when I click here, I want instead a dialog box to open here. So let us uh, create the dialog box right now. So it's a good idea. Let me just create it right inside there. So come back here and add new. And there's a button there. Uh, actually, let's create it right down here. So let's see what we can do here. So let's make a div right there. And we can comment it so that we see. Uh, it's easier to remember where we are add new category like so goody okay so here we're going to style this guy and let's give him a, a class so we can style him so class is going to be add new very original stuff okay so at the top here i will put some styles for the CSS. Now you can link an external style sheet here, but um, I like to do things inline like this because when you are teaching people and they link a style sheet, uh, browsers tend to cache those things and you find that somebody is changing their styles and they're not changing in the main page and that can cause a lot of headaches for beginners. So for beginners, I would suggest just use the inline styles there then once you are done with your project and satisfied with it, just put a link to an external file. 